All right, Halos, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to do a little retrospective on patch 14.11 because it was a little, little bit larger of a patch than I thought it was, actually. Uh, it was pretty sizable, actually. Um, we just, uh, I think a couple days ago, wrapped up recording the 14.12 patch notes, but I just wanted to go back and kind of take a look and like give my thoughts on 14.11 because I uh, had some personal stuff going on and I missed out on that as well. So yeah, let's uh, let's kind of just breeze through it. We're not going to spend like a whole lot, long time on anything, but yeah. Um, there was a 14.10 mid-patch update about some stuff, and there's some different stuff there that were put in, kind of like a, a mini-patch or whatever. Um, you can out now fist bump in Arena, which was pretty cool, <laughs> actually. Uh, I was wondering why you couldn't do that before, honestly, so that's, that's nice that they put that in. Um, Essence Emporium is, of course, back, and it's still going to keep going even longer than the 19th, I think. Um, I'm not sure, actually, but yeah. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> um, there's reporting right ID stuff, there's still to do a rank for high MMR, uh, Middle East server is, was, uh, has some stuff going on there, of course, um, that's opening up, so that's pretty cool for the Middle East. Uh, they did some system changes to address the, um, lane swapping, uh, with what I gathered from what Freak said was that, um, they aren't, like, super worried about land swapping they don't want to like completely remove it um, and put like some hard restrictions on it but they don't um they don't want it to be every single game or anything so uh yes turret fortification so damage reduction for the first five minutes uh was 50 percent now it is 75 percent and of course um this is for the middle and, and top turrets only so in bot, bot lane the that reduction is not a doesn't exist. Um, so basically, if you swap up to top, you're going to be taking uh, the damage you deal to the turret is going to be reduced by 75%, which is pretty large. Um, so only do that basically in extreme cases, um, like super extreme, <clears throat> where you know for sure you're going to lose the lane, and it's just yeah, you're going to give them an advantage anyway. Uh, so yeah, turret gold. So first turret gold is actually going from 150 to 300, so doubling that, which is really nice. Um, I like this a lot for sure, but also it means that it's going to be uh, way better just overall for the, the bot lane that stays bot and doesn't swap up. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> uh, moving on, we have Caitlyn here. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to go like super into details. You guys can read the patch for yourself if you want. Um, but yeah, basically what I gathered from this is that Caitlyn's uh, attack speed growth is actually going up quite a bit, which is really nice, actually. Um, but uh, they're getting some huge nerfs, actually. Um, this W Yodel Snap Trap nerf is huge, in my opinion, because it used to scale uh, every rank based on rank up to 80% bonus 80 from 40%. Now it's just a flat 40% alt ranks. So the only thing you're getting up from getting from leveling this skill up now is some flat damage, which it's not bad amount of flat damage, but um, honestly, I don't know. You might consider maxing E now second instead of uh, instead of third. I think is what was happening before. So yeah. Um, I think it's a pretty actually massive change there, but maybe the attacks with growth will make up for it a little bit. Um, we'll have to see for sure. But it's her; she's less reliant on her W, I guess now, is my opinion, than she was before. Um, so our Ace in the Hole is also getting 20% uh, bonus AD knocked off on it, um, on the physical physical damage, of course. So uh, definitely something, but not as big as the W change for sure. Um, but yeah, she does get that attack speed growth. Obviously, lethal tempo is gone, so maybe that's also one of the reasons they bumped that up a bit. We'll have to see how it feels, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, Camille getting some move speed knocked off of her Q. Um, just a little bit, 5% every rank. Uh, her R is getting quite a bit of uh, on-hit damage knocked off the flat, the base. Uh, so it was 10, 30, 40 based on rank, and now it's 5, 10, 15. So, I mean, later on, that's, what, 25 on hit damage knocked off. Um, I'm guessing that's while she's in her ultimate. I actually kind of forgot once again that she had on hit damage while she's in her ultimate. So yeah, it's interesting for sure. Um, but yeah, Corky. So uh, they got some changes. Looks like they buffed him. And then I think in, in 1412, they actually nerfed him back a little bit. But um, 
yeah, Q Phosphorus Bomb getting buffed uh, max ranks, it's going to be doing 20 more damage, but it's getting a little bit of, of love every rank after one. Uh, e Gatling Gun getting 50% more bonus AD ratio, which is pretty large actually. Um, I've been hearing he's doing some like lethality builds and going kind of crazy, but uh, I actually have not had the chance to play much of him at all, so since the rework, obviously. Uh, but yeah, our missile barrage going up by 10% on the bonus AD ratio, so that's pretty nice. Uh, definitely goes with some good things for him there. I am looking forward to playing him, honestly. Um, but yeah. Uh, Draven getting uh, only 50% adoration lost on death now instead of 75%. Bonus gold per kill was is 25 instead of 10, plus 2 per or ador adoration stack. Um, so it's pretty nice for him getting some extra um, just like stuff early that he basically isn't gonna isn't gonna have to like feel as bad when he dies if he dies. Uh, Q spinning axe getting five damage knocked off every rank on the base damage is not that crazy honestly, but it's something. And this is something that happened in the micro patch for 14:10 of course. King plank uh, getting a little bit of base health and some armor growth, making him a little bit tankier. Nar getting a little bit of attack damage growth, very small amounts. Um, and then uh, boomerang throw actually getting 10% extra AD scaling, which is pretty large because it's just. I mean, it's overall AD, right? It's not bonus AD or anything, so I think that could matter quite a bit, but we'll see. Um, I wonder if we'll see him a little bit in pro. Not sure. Uh, Hui getting uh, less max health damage on his QQ, and then uh, Molten Fissure, the QE, uh, is getting a 5% AP d uh, knocked off on the damage per second. So uh, since it's per second, it's not quite as bad, but... Um, Honestly, it's not that not that huge, I don't think. I think it'll be just fine. The Q is definitely the larger change, I would say. Um, and then Aurelia getting a little bit less health growth, which is nice. She's, she, she won't be as tanky. Um, and then Jinx getting hit on her attacks damage growth. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much this amounts to. It doesn't seem like a lot, but um, it could amount to a decent amount, so we'll see. Um, Obviously, Infinity Edge got nerfed a little bit as well, so um, it's going to be a little bit tougher for her. Uh, Karthus, Lay Waste, um, getting, I think, like two damage knocked off early on the flat, and then f six late. So I, I really, I know he does use Q a lot. Maybe it'll amount to a lot, but I don't think it's really going to matter. Um, it's a pretty small number, but we'll see. Uh, Kha'Zix, um, let's see, he got a little bit of base damage up. And that's it. It's 10 every level. So, I mean, it's, it's decent. It, it might matter, but I don't think it'll matter, honestly, that much. Uh, Cassante, his amount of cost is going down to 20 flat, all ranks. The W Pathmaker, actually, um, it was 40 to 60, 40 to 65% based on level, and now it's just 30%. So, that's actually a pretty large nerf, that nerf, I would say. This is one of his most important tools, actually. Um, and the maximum hold duration is one second, so he can't uh, have the damage duration for as long. Uh, damage reduction rather and then all out damage reduction so his R uh, is 60% and it was 57.35 to 75 so actually just pr basically a nerf on that as well um, pretty much overall and then R all outs uh, the healing is going up a little bit by 5% every level so that's pretty nice I think this is all fine um, but yeah I think the W nerf is pretty I think it might be pretty large we'll have to see I think it'll be a lot less tanky um, Lulu, knockup duration on her R is going from 0.75 seconds to 1 second, which is really good. Uh, cooldown is also going down by 20 seconds early, and then 10 seconds at second rank, nothing at third rank. So, pretty pretty nice for her. It might be too short of a cooldown, we'll have to see. Um, but I think the knockup duration is actually a really nice, um, nice bump there. I think that, that'll feel really good. And then, uh... Master Yi, we have some health growth going up by 5 per level, armor growth uh, by 0.5 per level, and attack, sp uh, attack damage growth, I'm sorry, uh, growing up by a tiny bit, attack speed growth growing up by, going up by a little bit as well there, English is hard, so yep, yeah, pretty nice for her, um, for him, sorry, uh, but nothing super crazy, I don't think, we'll have to see, I, I don't know the exact math on that. But I think it'll be it'll be good. I don't really have a too big problem with that or anything. Uh, he did lose, of course, lethal tempo and stuff as well, so we'll have to see. Um, <clears throat> Mordekaiser, so passive darkness rise. 
monster damage cap going up, so that's really good. I like that. So you'd be a little bit better in the jungle. Uh, damage per second. Let's see. Five. So it doesn't have the flat to 15 anymore. It's just five. And then this used to do plus 30%. So yeah, it's, it's just losing a little bit of damage per second. Um, on flat, it looks like. Um, but it does still scale with the 30% AP, and it scales with 1 to 5% target max HP uh, based on level. So, yeah, okay. A um, little bit of a nerf there, uh, but he's better in the jungle, basically. <clears throat> uh, I wonder if they were just pushing him into be jungle, being jungler, I guess, or something. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> Q obliterate, getting 5 damage at rank 1 and 45 damage at rank 5, which just flats. Um, oh, but it used to scale plus 5 to 139 based on level. Uh, now it's plus 0 to 45. That's pretty large nerf, I would say, to him. So, um, Well, I guess it could it evens out a little bit at max rank. But not not much. No, not enough. Not, not even close to enough. It doesn't even out at all, actually, I, I lied. All right, yeah, that's just pretty... I would say, overall, just nerfs to Mordekaiser. So, yeah, pretty rough. Um, but... Maybe he'll be alright. I think he might still be okay. We'll have to see. Uh, Nami. Attack damage going up by 3. That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, and then W ebb and flow. The mana cost going down by 20 at rank 5. Obviously a little bit every level as well after 1. But that's good. Uh, 110 is way too much for a spell in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, maybe depending on the spell, I guess. Our Tidal Wave. Uh, slow used to be 50 to 70 based on rank. Now it's just flat 70 at all ranks, which is really really nice. I think she got a R nerf or R, R buff either last patch or this pat this 14-12 uh, the next patch. So sweet. Uh, Nasus. So it, uh, attack damage growth going going from from 3.5 to 4. Really nice for him. Uh, that feels good. E spirit fire mana cost. Uh, Oh, really nice. Down by 10, rank 1, and then down every level until rank 5, it's down by 30. So that's really good for the mana, mana cost. That was way too much for, for this ability's cost anyway, so that is really nice. Uh, armor reduction uh, also is up, actually, so 5% every level, 5% more. Um, that's really good. So really nice buffs to Nasus. That's That feels really nice. I, want, I might play them some more. Um, uh, not even joking, that's, that's actually really good. Really good support as well. Just really good. All right. Um, oh, wait, what does it say? We're also lowering the mana cost of his E and Buffy. It's armor shred to increase Sutter's Sky's popularity and strength as a second item. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Orn. So, uh, Passive Living Forge. Orn can now upgrade all, minus a few exceptions like Magi's, Archangels, and similar items. Legendary items to Masterwork items. So, Masterwork items gain extra stats based on the stats the original legendary item provides. If an item gives AD and HP, the upgrade will give you more AD and HP, etc. Okay. I think that oversimplifies it a little bit, but um, yeah. The go watch Freak's video if you want to like have the in depth basically, but <clears throat> um, basically masterwork items don't upgrade every stat pretty much um, like it used to, but um, it will it will upgrade like uh, one or two of them I guess is what it looks like, uh, which is cool. Um, but yeah, now you, you can upgrade all legendary items, which is nice. Before you could only do a select few I think, so that's pretty cool. Um, the Pantheon, so Q Comet Spear is, uh, the charge damage is getting, oh, wait, what? <clears throat> so I guess they're changing whether the damage is charged or not. So uncharged damage is unchanged, but charge damage is 70 to 190 based on rank, and then 115% bonus AD plus 50% AP. Uh, scaling. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I think that's how I, I read that right. Okay. Uh, w Shield Vault. So physical damage uh, going from flat to flat physical damage for to uh, max HP damage. Okay. And also scales with his 
HP as well, his bonus HP, and a little bit with AP still. Okay, okay. Um, all right, interesting. Uh, new minimum damage against monsters and minions is 50. Max damage against monsters and minions, 200. New addition of uh, damage against monsters and minions won't be reflected in the tooltip in 14.11, but will be added in 14.12. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. All right. I kind of like that, though, because it makes him less of like a assassin with like um, all that and more of a tank, which is, I think, a better identity for him. But interesting. Or maybe a bruiser, I guess, would work as well. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, e, Aegis Assault. Uh, now also grants 5 to 30, depending on level. Um, plus 2.5% bonus HP scaling. So he really scales with health really well. Okay. Um, and then, like, really, really well. And then uh, gives that 5 to 30 armor and magic resist. Um, plus, obviously, skills with his bonus HP for 4 seconds after spell finishes on his E. And then a new VFX element will be added to represent this buff being active on Pantheon. Interesting. Okay. Uh, completely broken. <laughs> that's so stupid. That's that's so over the top. Okay. Pantheon's busted. Alright. Uh, our Grand Starfall. The Spear Hit will gain the bonus AP addition noted above in the change and will have its tooltip adjusted. Spear Hit will gain the bonus AP what okay sure all right um oh oh the spear hit okay okay interesting okay all right um all right samira 80 growth going down a little bit nothing crazy but definitely something w blade whirl um oh the 20 percent ad 20% bonus AD scaling is removed from it, so it was 80%, now it's 60%, so I just lost damage on the W. I don't think you're really using the W for its damage, to be honest, like, almost at all, but uh, I guess it does deal some damage, sure. I, I don't think that's going to matter much. Um, R Inferno Trigger. Uh, only thing changed is 5% less total AD damage on it, which is... Honestly, I think they need to buff the damage on a Fair Trigger. <laughs> Unpopular opinion, but I've been playing it in, um, I mean, ever since Arena first released, I've been playing Samira in there, and she actually just does more damage with her Q and autos. Yeah, just with her Q and autos than she can during the whole duration of her ult. So I think it uh, needs to be buffed, actually. Maybe the duration, like how long the, um, the duration of her R can be like shortened a little bit to make it better or no no i guess it would have to be no i don't know yeah no i guess i could do that but yeah i don't know what to do about it honestly but i think that's bad change needs to needs to be more damage actually not less i i'm fine with it scaling with uh with items a little better than than scaling just with flat but i guess it should it needs to have a decent amount of flat damage as well though so i don't know Something has to be changed there. Uh, Singe, Q Poison Trail, getting 5% more AP uh, on the total magic damage um, over the duration. So, yeah. Uh, nice for him. Really dumb. I hate playing against Singe, so this is not great, but we'll see, I guess. Uh, our Insanity Potion also getting uh, the cooldown reduced. Now it's just 100 seconds at every rank. So, pretty nice for him. That's really low. Um, Smolder. So, uh, raise small just base AD from 55 to 57 in the macro fetch. So now they're raising it three more, so now it's 60 attack damage. Um, all right, base health going up pretty decent amount. Uh, micro patch change and it's already live. Okay, uh, base health regen, uh, pretty good actually, not bad. Uh, yeah, really, really good buffs on the base stats. Uh, passive dragon practice super scorcher breath uh, was 40 to 52 percent. Super Scorcher Breath. Okay, based on Critical Strike Chance, now it's 40 to 70 percent based on Critical Strike Chance. So nice. That's a pretty good, good buff for him. Uh, Q Super Scorcher Breath Man uh is just 25 now, so it doesn't scale up from 23 to 35 anymore. Uh, that's good. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's really, it's really nice actually. Um, critical Strike scaling. Uh, was 0 to 50 percent based on crit chance, and now it's 0 to 75 percent based on crit chance. So nice good 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 yeah just really nice buffs for smolder i like that a lot um I, i'm cool with that i should play more of him honestly 
uh, Talia. Q threaded volley, so damage per rock going down marginally, I would say. Uh, it is per rock, of course, but like, don't think this is going to be that big, to be honest. Uh, might might hurt her in terms of like clearing waves, but that's about it. All right. Um, Black Fire Torch. So burn damage actually going down quite a bit. Uh, 15%. 15 less on the flat, and then 3% uh, less on the AP scaling. Pretty large, actually. It looks like it was uh, a mid-patch for 14.10 as well, but um, cool. Wow. Yeah, that's a pretty big nerf, I'd say. Uh, Celestial Opposition. Passive no longer triggers off of Knight's Vow damage. Okay. Activates. Okay, interesting. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that, that just seems kind of dumb if that it would. So cool. Good bug fix. Uh, Essence Reaver, total gold cost down by 100 as well. So, um, nice. Pretty good, actually. Uh, and they increased the AD on Essence Reaver from 65 to 70 in the micro patch as well. But yeah, just a little bit of note there. Uh, faded ashes, ashes down by 10 AP and down by 6 burn damage. Wow. That's pretty, pretty rough as well. All right. Uh, Immortal Shield Bow. The shield is getting increased. Yes, good, good, good. Okay, uh, shield is increased from 320 to 530, uh, and now it is 320 to 720. So basically, at later levels mostly, but um, definitely, definitely nice shield there as well. It's good. That'll make it a little bit better, but I think if I if this shield bow is still what I think it has, just in terms of stats, since they removed all the other ones. Um, it's it's hot garbage still, but that makes it a little bit better if you do, do end up buying it at least. Uh, Infinity Edge is currently too strong, so they're removing the 10% of the crit damage on it, so it, that honestly sucks a lot. I, I feel like this is a little too much, but oh well. Um, it, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, Knight's Vow, so health is going from 300 to 200, so 100 health knocked off and 5 ability haste knocked off. Um, static Shiv, um, build path changing a little bit, a little bit easier combination. And then gold cost going down by 100 as well, movement speed added 7%, attack damage up by 5, attack speed up by 5, electro spark damage up by 3. 30. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, this item's actually still bad, but uh, better. But better. Okay. All right. Uh, serrated Dirk. Oh, we got maximum serrated Dirks in inventory. It can only be one now. Okay. So you can't buy more than two. Well, you can't buy more than one, I guess, at, that, at a time until you uh, combine it. That's too bad. But it's alright. Uh, zeal, critical strike chance down by 5%. Interesting. That's unfortunate. I don't think that's necessary, but alright. Uh, runes, cut down. So, uh, you still deal 8% increased damage, except your damage to champions above 60% 60 60 maximum health. Now it's uh, above 50% maximum health, so pretty good. Just a longer time that you deal more damage. I like this. Um, it was a little, I felt, felt a little weak to be honest, especially considering what the old version was in my opinion, but, uh, I, I guess I don't really know the exact data on it. So yeah, uh, absorbed life also getting buffed here. We got two to 17 healing was what it was. Now it's two to 20. So a little bit more, uh, mostly later ranks though, it looks like, but cool. Good stuff. Um, I think they should, they can, they can be buffed more, buffed more, honestly. Maybe scale with some AD and AP as well or something. I don't know. Uh, air and bounds changes, obviously, and arena stuff going crazy. Um, yeah, obviously, read all this stuff if you want. Uh, I might if I have time, but we'll have to see. Uh, I got lots of changes, though. That's pretty good. Uh, Dark Steel Talon's getting nerfed. Yep. Saw that coming. <laughs> uh, all right. Lots of change. Lots of changes to the arena. Like a ton. All right. All right. 
Arena bug fixes and quality of life changes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, and then normal bug fixes and quality of life changes. Um, nice. Okay, intro by AI, AI behavior improvements focused on helping new players. So sweet, intro bots might have been fixed. We'll have to see, I'll have to go into a game and see. Because um, they were one of the, actually the hardest bots actually, of the three, in my opinion. Since the, the update, uh, places, where, places where players would enter a variety ID have been split into two input boxes. One for game name, the other for tagline, okay. Um, bug fixes, got lots of stuff here. Those that can be actually pretty interesting, so definitely take a look at those. Uh, other than that, we got some Infernal Ash, Infernal Olaf, Infernal Karma, some uh, Chromas, and that's it. All right, well, uh, the recap went a little bit longer than I expected it to, but yeah, uh, pretty good, pretty large patch, actually. Um, definitely some big stuff there. Uh, Caitlyn getting gutted a little bit, but um, buffed in other ways, I suppose. But yeah, uh, definitely some changes there. Wait, was Collector changed? Hold on. Did I miss Collector? Did I miss Collector somehow? Didn't miss any of the items here, did I? The overview says Collector was changed. Wait, was it like an old change or something? Like a micro patch change? No? Okay, that's kind of weird that Collector's there, but alright. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so sorry about that. My uh, head headset thought I wasn't talking or something. Decided to shut itself off. But yeah, um, overall, pretty good patch. Uh, pretty large. But uh, lots of big changes, actually, this patch. So um, yeah, I just want to kind of quick recap on it. Uh, a little bit longer than I, than I thought it might be, though. But that's okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.